review video. This time as you can see it's the Bic Phoenix Alchemy Connect LED strips. Here I've got the 30cm one and 60cm one. Both these are the blue LED editions and there isn't really a huge amount to talk about them but it's a little bit of information on the box for you. See, Try bright LED technology. These LEDs are extremely bright. I didn't realise how bright they were. Um, when I bought them, nice um, art there on them. You see, 60 centimeter, and they're both blue. That was a 30 centimeter. One thing I noticed, which was kind of odd, um, I did buy the, both of these from um, overclockers.co.uk, but the plastic for the boxes seems to be different types of plastic. As you can see, this one's a really clear one, and this one's a a bluer one. I don't know if you can see that, but it's nothing really important. I'll take these out of the packets rather quickly and be right back with you in a moment. I just thought I'd mention quickly that these packets aren't sealed. So I can open this one handed. So they just clip together. Not really that important, but it's, you don't, you, it's not common you get a packet that doesn't come actually you know, sealed in one way, shape, or form. I'll just get rid of, rid of the packet. There we go. Here's the 60 centimeter one. You get a Molex to two pin adapter. The two pin, two pin to the. It's like a little four pin one which actually connects to the um, strip itself. And then you get these little four pin things here. Um, these two um, are basically lower profile ones of these. You use this one to extend the length of your wire, I suppose. Um, and you can use these to connect to one of these to another one. You see both ends to have the little four pins on the end. Now I've noticed that they seem to be, the LEDs seem to be grouped in threes. So you've got three there, a bit of a space, another three, a bit of a space, another three. And you come along and you can see where they soldered two thirds. Um, so two 30 centimeter ones together. So that's about it on that. See another, um, there's the 30 centimeter one and it comes with exactly the same stuff. Now there's something I just want to try quickly because I, um, judging by the look of this connector, I think I have a battery pack which should be able to power these. So I'll be back in a moment and see if we can actually do that. There we go, we've got the battery pack here, it just holds two AA batteries. And let's see if it actually works. Oh, it does. Not as bright as they should be, but it does power them. See the blue LEDs? Oh. Huh, they've just gone off. I guess the charge wasn't very high in the batteries. Okay, let's take this off quickly. Right, let's put the camera on the little tripod I have. Let's get the Molex connector here. Plug it into the two pin. Now you've got the little four pin here. Connect those together. And then you stick that. Oops, sorry, hands in the way. In the end here. Then you just take the other end of the Molex and stick it into your power supply. Ooh, sorry. Now I just got to um, close the blinds quickly. show you exactly how bright these are. Uh, it's worthwhile mentioning that this camera does like to pick up UV light and display it as purple so they do seem a little bit purpley. 
but these are very bright. They're, um, if you look directly at them, they're almost blinding. Now here, I've got one of the little connectors. Stick it in the end here quickly. And attach it to this one. As you can see, it's that simple. Now I've got 90 centimeters of this wire lit. Grab the camera quick. Now, um, having 90 centimeters inside of a small case might be a bit excessive for these particular LEDs. Like I said, I didn't realize how bright they were when I bought them. Um, they do have a very strong adhesive on the back of um, adhesive on the back of them, which is like a double-sided sticky tape. Um, you see, you can see where the little joint is here, but they are very close using that very small one, or I could have used a slightly longer one, and have, have a bit more distance between them. Now, it is worthwhile saying that these aren't going to be used in my personal um, rig. Um, they, these are for a budget build, which I'm making for someone. Let's open those blinds and see how light it is. That when it's in the light. As you can see, they're still quite bright. Um, these LEDs I've noticed because I've tried them out before now. I had them powered on for a period of around five minutes and they seem to get rather hot. Um, they are in, um, the LEDs are encased in rubber so you can't actually touch them themselves um, which is good for their own protection but shit sorry just knocked over the camera focus so I'll stop recording in a moment Oh, sorry about that. Um, it took me to take off to, to, uh, to turn off the camera and turn it back on to actually to get it to um, focus again properly. As I was saying, anyway, yeah, um, these LEDs do seem to get rather hot, and they did have a temp temperature probe on them, and they seem to get up to uh, around sixty degrees centigrade um, or Celsius, however you want to put it. Um, so yeah, they do get fairly hot. So make sure you don't put them anywhere near any heat sensitive components inside your case. Oh shit, I'm losing bits of wrap down the back. Uh, this one, this video is not going so well for me at the moment. Um, back in a moment. I just pulled them apart quickly so less of a hassle, but they are start, they've been on for a minute or two now and they're starting to get rather hot. Um, so it's something worthwhile keeping in mind uh, when you're buying these. The total power consumption isn't that high but they do put out a lot of heat. I think that just about wraps it up on these um, on the Bit Phoenix um, LED strips, um, Alchemy Connect ones, I should say. Um, if you like this video, or like it. Um, please subscribe for more videos and put any comments in the comment section comment section below. Um, uh, this is Joy Poipi signing out. Mm -hmm.